guys, today I'm going to show you how to edit the second part of the movie poster. So make sure you check out part one before you watch this. I'm using Adobe uh, InDesign CC in order to add the text onto the movie um, poster. I already edited it in Photoshop, so I've edited the background and I'm just dragging that JPEG into InDesign. Um, I've already set up the, t the template, so it's an A3 portrait file. Uh, and it's working in CMYK. I'm going to rename that layer background and then I'm going to lock it uh, because that's not going to change. I've already done all the editing in Photoshop. I'm going to go now to the type tool on the left hand side of the screen and I'm going to create a new layer and rename that uh, title. So that's the layer I'm going to put the title on and I'm going to click and drag a text box in and I'm going to type in my title now. I've just come up with a name that's going to kind of work for this one, but obviously you'd put whatever name your movie poster is going to actually be. At the moment when I'm typing, um, I'm typing beyond first, that's the first part of my title, and it's really, really small, and I haven't chosen the font, so I've typed it, highlighted it, and now I'm going through my fonts to find the font that I want to use. At the moment, I've got my TK, my type kit filter on. So these are um, fonts I've downloaded from Type Kit from Adobe, and these are all ones that I can use. So I'm going to look through that, but I also want to check any of the um, other fonts that I have on my computer. And then I think I'm going to settle on, I'm going to settle on Big Castlin. I've changed the size of the font to 72 at the moment which isn't big enough so you can just um, toggle up and down on your arrow keys until it's as big as you want or you can manually type manually type in uh, the number. At the moment it's black and I don't think that's going to work in terms of the colour of my font. I'm just resizing uh, the text box first using the select tool and um, then I'm going to reposition it and now I am going to duplicate it. So holding down option and clicking and dragging across. And then I'm putting the second word in justice. And I'm going to make that slightly bigger. Um, because justice is uh, the more important part of my title. And then I've made the text box a bit bigger. Because when you change the size, it'll hide it if the text box isn't big enough. So I'm just clicking and dragging that out. And now I'm repositioning it. I'm just toggling using the arrow keys on my keyboard. Um, and then I'm just kind of playing around with that to figure out where the best spot for that is going to be. Um, and now I'm going to work on the colours of my image. So I'm highlighting that, then going over to the colour window, clicking on that. And now I'm going to use the eyedropper tool to actually select some um, colours that are already inside my poster. So clicking and dragging it until I find the spot that I want. That doesn't look too bad. Um, I'm going to do the same for justice. I think I want this to be a bit lighter than beyond. Okay, It's often good picking colours that are already in your movie poster so you're not introduce introducing too many new colours unless you really want them to stand out. I am going to add a drop shadow to that just so it stands out a bit more because it is the title. At the moment it's at 75% but I'm going to drop it down to 55%. I'm going to do the same to beyond as well to make sure that stands out as well because it looks a bit silly if it's not there either. Again, I'm going to drop that down to 55% and now I've got my title in. Now I'm going to lock that layer and create a new layer and call it tagline. So just double clicking on that to rename it. And again, I'm going to use a text tool and click and drag that out and type in my tagline. Again, it's going to be quite small because it's only on 12 points for the font size. And I'm going to type in my tagline there. You can't really see what it says yet. But I am going to change that just now. I'm going to highlight it and going to increase the size. Make sure I choose the same font because I want it to be the same. Font. And now you can see there is only one chance to save him is my tagline. And I'm just going to use the select tool to figure out where the best spot for that is. Um, I think it's going to be up the top because down the bottom is a bit too much is happening. 
So I'm going to use the type tool again, make that centered rather than left aligned and resizing my text box and figuring out the best spot to put it. I'm going to line it up, snap it to the center to make sure it's dead center and figure out just by toggling on the arrow keys where I want it to be. I'm going to move beyond down slightly and justice down slightly to kind of accommodate that because um, it was too close to the top if I had left my title there. I'm going to highlight the tagline and again using the same eyedropper I am going to find a font color that's already in there and I think that quite works quite well you don't I don't think I want it to be a lighter color as well because then it'll distract away from the title you want your tagline to just kind of be there so people can have a read read of it I'm gonna uh, lock that tagline layer now I'm happy with where that is and now I'm going to add in another text box creating another new layer and I'm going to put the fictitious director of this um, film. I'm just going to put my name in there. Um, again, you can't see what it says. I'm going to say a film by Zoe Carzino, but um, you could put whatever it is you want. You could be directed by, produced by, whatever you think is um, important in terms of your movie poster. I am going to use a different font for this and I'm going to use a quite condensed font rather than one that is spaced out because often in movie posters that's kind of the font that you see when you start crediting people um, specifically not actors so normally when you have the producer the production designer the cinematographer etc uses kind of a condensed font so I'm just resizing that now that's quite big probably a bit too big um, that's a bit better and I'm going to center align that as well to make sure I get it in the middle of my poster because I can snap to um, using Adobe InDesign rather than in Photoshop that doesn't do a great job of doing that. So I'm just going to put that under the title as well. Obviously this can go anywhere that you want. You could put it down the bottom, up the top, um, highlighting that again, changing the font color, Again, finding a font that's already in there. I wonder if the one that I use for justice, nope, that's quite a bit too light, I think. All right, so I've done that, and now I am going to put another text box in, and I'm going to put these some uh, actor's name in, and I'm just going to make up some um, actor's name for this. So I'm going to put them all in the one text box and just put um, just tab across or put some spaces in just so it all um, stays in the same font size same color etc um, I think it's probably a bit too big at the moment but you do want obviously your actors names to stand out but not as much as I had it then again this could go anywhere on your movie poster it doesn't have to be down the bottom I'm just choosing um, it to be so and often you'll find that the first name is above the second name or just their last names put on there whatever it may be and kind of just spacing them out so they kind of hit where the characters are so Aaron Goodyear is this guy on the left Sean Lewis is in the middle and Ian Summers is on the right so just lining them up I'm just making sure that they do that making sure that they're centered um, with the space key and just tapping across as well. I need to change the color because obviously you can't see um, the names very well. I'm gonna go for a lighter font obviously because I'll need that because it's down the bottom and they've got darker colors, but I don't want it to be as light as the title because I want that to be the main focus. I'm just gonna check um, if a drop shadow will help improve the in part because the A is a bit difficult to read because of where it is on the jacket. Um, yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I can keep it at 75% as well. I'm just going to go back and change the, <laughs> capitalize the tagline, um, with the capital T. And now I just need to add like a coming soon or when is it going to be in theaters as well, because that's often in, on a movie poster as well. So typing that in, 
changing the font size this is going to be an important thing as well so we want this to stand out I'm going to make that um, all uppercase because they often are with coming soon types of stuff and I've just clicked the same um, font color as the title to make sure it stays in so I've just said April 17th just a random date um, obviously you can put in what it actually is going to be or if you're just making this up coming soon um, in cinemas now whatever it may be I have um, snapped to the center to make sure it matches up and it's not slightly to the left or the right and I'm just moving down the characters names and that's actually helping with Ian's name you can see that a little bit better and bringing down April as well using the arrow keys on my keyboard I'm now going to save my file we're going to um, export that out because we want it to be a PDF so just make sure it's on Adobe PDF you're going to rename it I'm just going to call it movie uh, poster final so I know I'm going to choose my movie poster uh, folder that I already created and press save I'm just going to leave the auto settings on that because that's fine for what I'm trying to do and then click export and that's going to export it out as an Adobe PDF rather than an InDesign file which means you can open it up in any um, PDF supported computer or device so I am going to save it as an InDesign file as well so I can go back in and edit it if I want if I want to add anything else because you can often see other things on a movie poster as well but um, now you'll see that in my folder I have the actual PDF and the InDesign document and now we've got my finished movie poster.